Hello everybody, today I am bringing you a layout that is the second layout you're seeing from my nephew's wedding album. My background paper there is a gold polka dot paper from Recollections. And then I found that floral paper from Cartabella Rustic Elegance. It's called Small Floral. And I'm going to use that to mat my photo. I quickly decided that I wanted a doily behind this photo. The doilies appear frequently in this wedding album. And I think, I don't know if I said this in this video, but I have about 40 pages done right now of their album. And um, that's a, definitely a theme. And the bride really liked doilies. She saw my other nephew's wedding album and um, really enjoyed those. So she, she definitely wanted those. So now I decided I'm going to put a little bit of vellum behind that as well to separate the busyness of the floral paper from the busyness of the doily. And I'm trying to decide like how big to cut that and where I want to go because I'm going to offset this one instead of just putting it as a straight mat behind. The mat behind is the same. And I have to apologize for this, by the way. Um, the light, I'm not scrapping in my normal scrap space and I didn't realize that the light was in the camera view. So you're seeing a little bit of my hot light that I use right on my lights. So it was really cold down in my normal scrap space and the heat isn't on yet. And I just didn't feel like turning it on so I could scrap for a couple of hours. So I was scrapping in a different location and you're going to see it wiggling. So again, I apologize. Not something exactly that I want to happen. Now I'm cutting down um, that floral paper so that I get the size that I want. And there I have the offset and I really like the way that looks. So I'm going to commit right away to getting that photo down on there. And there we go, committing it to the vellum. And that's just a plain miscellaneous vellum. It's just a plain sheet of vellum. I know I did buy a bunch of vellum, a vellum pack at Hobby Lobby from the paper studio. So that's probably where this is from, but I don't know that for sure. Now on the bottom there, I have two flare badges. They say Mr. and Mrs. And I thought that was appropriate since they're coming back up the aisle after they were married. That's from the My Minds I Fancy That collection and they're called um, tucks. The badges are called tucks. Now I am looking at um, the My Mind's Eye on Trend there, the chipboard sheet. And I've chosen right now a foil flower and then a little blushy pink flower to maybe go next to it. Thinking about perhaps putting the badges on the bottom or top as well, but they were just way too heavy. The colors for this wedding was, um, the dresses were black with a little touch of gold accent here and there. But I, when I did my other nephew's wedding album, which I just finished earlier this spring, their colors were purple, but not a purple that existed in scrapbooking supplies. So I used a lot of black, gold, and khaki. So to make this one different, the bride's favorite color is that kind of blushy, corally pink. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, that's sort of in the background there. So I'm using that in little bits of pink throughout the album as well. Now I did find that chipboard, The Perfect Day, from that On Trend, My Mind's Eye On Trend collection as well. And it's the On Trend Cool Chipboard Stickers is the full name of that. I've talked about this before, but I'm finding that these are very, very simple layouts um, that I'm not layering with as much paper as I tend to. I still am, or big blocks of layered paper, I still am layering. Right now, I'm trying a Wilton doily in a um, 10 inch size, and I didn't like it as well. So I'm going back to the Royal Lace doily in an eight inch size, and I bought that at Ben Franklin if you have any of those in your area. It is, it's a, a more local, sort of craft store. So I like that, so I'm going to commit to that. And the, the papers, the vellum's a little bit offset and so is the doily there for something a little bit different. And I like the way that looks, so I'm committing to putting those badges down. 
these are really cute the wedding theme of these badges is just darling and I'm tapping my fingers because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do there and I'm thinking about maybe adding a little bit of gold in here to give it another pop of color um, and it looked okay but it wasn't great I'm glad I chose not to do that I feel somehow because I said I'm not scrapping in my normal space the, the camera's a little wonky too so that any videos after this I think will be in my normal space I did try those hearts from the crate paper hello love collection I've used those throughout the book but decided I didn't like that I wanted I want something else up on that flower up there I'm not sure what that is yet though but I will find the solution so while I'm kind of thinking about that, I'm doing what I know, which is I know I like these pieces here, so I'm just going to get those actually glued down with my ATG. And I'll take the, the sticker back off that sticker, and then I'm going to put a little bit of ATG on that as well. I'm sorry you can't see that as I do that but I've just put the ATG on the back of the chipboard so it doesn't fall off I want this album to last and again taking the sticker back off and putting a little bit of ATG adhesive on the back of that flower And there we go that's stuck down so really basically and what I found there was on the on trend sheet there they had these little gold dots and that's all I needed to bring the gold into that flower and just pop it off the page just a little bit so just the tiniest little bit of details tiny details here because I really want the focus to be on the photos and you can see definitely the focus is on this photo definitely different than the way I normally scrap although I am pretty layered here but it's all centered on the photo and not blocks of paper so I'm just gluing this down the layout is finished there will be a still shot and a couple of detail shots hope you're all well bye mm -hmm.